I was in a garden. It was a large one among the trees. I was watering the plants. I looked to see if a rainstorm was coming. I was in the garden alone. I was talking to a friend. She asked me how I was doing. I told her that something had happened and she was trying to hurry out to the store. She told me that I needed to go back and get everything ready for the store. I saw that the rain was coming and I wanted to hurry. I went to see if there was more rain. I looked up at the sky. It was cloudless and there was no clouds. I thought it was going to rain. I felt very calm. I felt that I was waiting for something. A grandmother is a little person with a little head. She is in a little house. She is a little girl. I know her. She is very old. But as I am standing there, I notice she is young. I am shocked. I have no idea how old is she is. I am not surprised. I can't remember her birthday, but I know it was in the last year. I don't remember her name, but I know it was Mrs. Err. They have a little baby, and I am very sad to see it. It's the first year of a new baby. I can't remember a name of a new baby because I don't remember her name. I realize that I have to do something with this little baby. I can't remember how to, or even if there is such a thing. So I try to think of a way to do it. I'm not sure. I think I need to put the baby down and give it to the old lady. She insisted the baby was her. It's a beautiful summer day and the sun is shining. The air is a warm, clear air with a hint of cloud in the sky. I walk along a lake in a rural area. It is a very peaceful place to be. I begin to walk on a path that goes straight down the deep, deep lake. As I walk along this path, I notice some animals in the water that are swimming around and swooping down to dive under the surface. They seem to be all kinds of animals, but the ones that I am able to catch and swim around on the light blue and white water surface are all white. A small child is following me. I realize that it is a child and I run to the side of the lake to catch him. The child is that he is trying to be. I walk up the side of the lake and I see that he is trying to get under the surface but he is not successful. He is getting past things that are in the water. He is trying to be cute and I don't like that. He changes his stance so that I can catch him and he is able to swim. I try catching him but I can't. I am very frustrated and angry and I yell at him and he says, you are not going to catch me. I am just going to get through the water. I yell and tell him that I don't think he is going to be able to, but I do think I can at least try. I get up and tell him that I can't catch him, that I just can't have him swimming. I tell him that I'll get off at the end and finish up at the beginning again. I think that he says this because he has a very high sense of courage. I know that he's going to take me to the end and that I don't want to get off at the end. I was driving a small bus around the lake. I had my back package strapped to my back and a pencil case. We were going a little slower and the road kept going in the opposite direction. The drivers were smiling make it difficult for me to stop. I was in a hurry to get home. We couldn't stop until we stopped and turned around. We were going very fast. We were going at the speed of a motorcycle. It was a very fast ride. I was very happy. I was glad. I had driven fast. I was afraid of anything. I was ready to go home.
I was on an airplane, a pretty big plane, measuring scale with a flat top. The plane was very old. Somehow, it landed somewhere, and once it got airborne, you were aware that you were in a place that wasn't too pure air. The plane slowly turned its nose to the right, and as it did so, it came down and crashed, killing the four of us. All of us. We didn't have any idea what happened. And we didn't think that we were in the air anymore. I have some small toy snakes in a bag. I'm packing to go home and I'm trying to find a place to sleep. I have to move all the food I want to eat in a small room. I go to sleep with a crocodile's head in my mouth. I wake up and realize that the crocodile has eaten my tooth. I feel horrified. I see my little sister and I ask her about the tooth. She says, it is okay, but it is gone now. I say that it is my fault. I was a member of a group that was trying to fish in the boat. We were in the water and the boat was wasting away. I don't remember what happened, but it seemed to be at a very high tide. I was in the boat and there was a huge wave coming right towards us. There was no warning and I had to run for cover. As I tried to get away, I saw a huge white large shark swimming up and down the river and was about two feet long. It was covered by a big dorsal fin and in a second it swam over the bank and it was covered by the same fin. It was very frightening. I decided to run for my life so I was going to die for the shore. I was only a little boy then. The shark was a very large shark and I thought I would be killed by it. The shark was staring at me and I didn't want to die. I remember seeing the shark's eye look like a big and scary eye. I looked away as it came towards me and I told the man that I felt sorry for it and it was looking at me. I was afraid of the shark. I was in the desert and it was night. I was alone in the bedroom. A pair of hands came down the bed and grabbed me and held me. I felt that I was being trapped by the dark hands. I screamed for help. Someone came and rescued me. I saw the man and he was a man. I stayed with him, but I seemed not to remember anything else. I felt that he was a sad man because his wife died and he had to die. I am with a group of people. We are all dressing up and going on a trip. We are going to be out in the country. We are going to be on a raft. We are going on a dirt road with a lot of people on it. We are all on a river raft. I'm wearing a black cloak. I'm standing on a rock and I'm wearing a red long-sleeved shirt. We are all standing on a rock and a guy is standing on the water. The water is very deep. It's so deep that it's like a river rushing through the water. I see the water, and I see a huge predator fish that looks like a giant squid swimming near the water. I look down to see the water moving and thinking about how big the fish is. I see a fish that looks like a fish that is at least bigger than me. I see the fish and think, Oh no, it's stuck in the water and I will get stuck forever. I see the fish and I see the monster fish and it has been caught and I'm concerned. 
I see the fish, and I see a big monster fish, and I'm very alarmed. I was having a conversation with a woman who has a very large, flat, round, oval, square or oval head. The face was quite ugly and had a white lower lip and yellow eyes. I was going to ask her question, what is the meaning of life? I was thinking about the meaning of life. I stated that it was a question that could lead to life. Then I asked her what it was and if it was the meaning of life. I didn't have any further interest in her. I seemed rather disappointed about the answers he gave. I was wearing a light blue suit. I'm not wearing a tie. I look over my shoulder at the books and I say I will come back. I return to my books and I see the library has moved. The rooms that used to be on the first floor, the ones I used to go to, are in the new section called the furniture. I look at the old library and I see things I've been looking at for years. I say I like that. I see a case with books on it. I say I will go look for that book. I see an old desk with lots of drawers. I'm surprised. I thought the library had been remodeled. A woman is talking to me about the library. I told her I used to go there a lot and used to be a student there. I tell her I used to be a teacher and she says she used to be a librarian too. She was very interested in the history of the library. I take a book and I look at it. I see a family of cats sitting on the floor. It is very pretty. I say I don't know if I can find that book. I look around and there are a lot of books on the shelves. I see a baby and I put the book on the shelf. I see the shelf. I see a motion picture poster. I see a picture of a baby cat. I feel slightly embarrassed. I go back to the books and I see a small children's picture book. <laughs> 